Hello YouTube, it's your boy Hero and today we're going to be talking about a lot of things that happened in Black Desert this week because all of these things are not really substantial enough to be in their own video alone in my opinion, but they're still worth talking about so we're going to just slam it all into here so it's going to be called uh, pretty much everything that happened this week in Black Desert Online in both the Korean version and in the North American and EU version so let's get it started. So we're going to start off with what happened in the North American version of Black Desert Online. Obviously, you guys know Ranger got buffed. Uh, Maywood got a little small buff. Warrior got a little small buff. Uh, there's a few, a few quality of life changes for Warrior. Not not too big. And uh, but, but Ranger's buff was very big. I'm glad. I hope you guys, you Rangers like it. If any, any of you guys are Rangers, please let me know in the comments how you feel about the new patch and how you feel about the balancing of your class i think it was very helpful i see a lot more rangers in rbf doing a lot better so that's very cool to see the other important thing that got added to the game in the north american eu version was the actual campsite feature that it was present in the korean version for a long time uh, the only difference with our version and the korean version is that the korean version actually released the campsite at the same time as the pearl shop cash type items so basically there's a cash campsite that you have to get in the game in order to uh, to activate it by doing quests and things like that and then you can purchase cash shop tools in order to upgrade said campsite and make it much more valuable and much more useful as it is right now it's, it's a, a, a pretty good tool for some players but it isn't by any means necessarily mandatory especially if you already have weight limit and pets and the maids and uh, storage slots and things like that you really don't need this by any means necessary um, but however once the cash shop one gets released um, they uh, there definitely will be a much larger uh, a much larger demand for it because it will have a lot different features uh, the the durability costs will decrease and it's, 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 the, it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot better if you have the cash shop version obviously um, why didn't they release the cash shop version with this version well in my opinion i think it was to kind of uh hold off on it just for a little while and give people a chance to build up a want for it, build up a demand and a need for the cash shop version as well as so that once enough so that enough players know that there's a free version so that once the cash shop version does release there'll be a line of defense pretty much where people can say well look the cash out version it, you, you it might be better but you can get the free version so it's not that bad etc etc so yeah they're just pretty much slowly easing in pay to win items as they always have been and always will be and they once again i am just uh, impressed with cacao with pearl abyss whoever's in charge of the way they handle their marketing because they just do a great job with it they the way they implement these things is just it just boggles my mind they could have easily just thrown it in the cash shop but no they, they decided to do it this way for our version which is very interesting i can tell they don't want it, any backlash with pay to win things you know with what's going on right now in the gaming industry so they're definitely taking their time with this they're also going to be removing the loot box feature which i don't know why because honestly a lot of people were complaining about the pet loot box but i don't see it as an issue because basically a pet costs the same price as this pet so the, is the loot box so you would get a team one pet anyways the only thing i don't like about the loot box is that you can't get the same pet again if you were to get two team ones because you can't control what pet comes out so you won't be able to breed them so yeah in that regard it kind of sucks and it is definitely enticing people to buy more than one that's for sure so yeah but it's not the worst loot box i've ever seen but it is going to be leaving on january 10th and uh, that's kind of questionable to say the least so another great thing that got added to NA was the Marnie Stone. Now the Marnie Stone is a uh, complication all to itself, but basically what it does is it allows a player to kill a certain amount of mobs, whether it be 250 or 500, and then they once they've killed so many of those, it's basically a mini quest, right? You pay silver for it, and once you've killed so many of the mobs, you turn the quest in and you get a reward for it, and the reward is experience based on your level. Now um, these the amount of experience you get depends on your level and depends on the quest you're doing and the mobs you're killing but basically what this has done as in terms of grinding it has eliminated every other place that does not have a marnie stone which it can be good and can be bad i don't know why they did this i don't know why they thought that this was the way to go um if you don't 
they if they didn't make a marnie stone for every single place then now there's only these places that have marnie stones are the most viable in terms of exp not to mention marnie stones are not are not cheap they're not expensive but they're not cheap either they're not free you have to pay some silver for them too so you do lose some of your silver gain in any of these places as well Couple with what happened in Korea this this patch up. Uh, I'm very confused with this change, uh, but we'll talk about that later. Another change that came to the NAEU version was the world boss change. Now this happened last week in Korea. Basically, um, if a world boss doesn't drop below 70% health within the first 15 minutes of being spawned, uh, it will despawn as well as um, the top 80 players that are participating will automatically receive an award the top 80 percent will automatically guarantee loot now will it be amazing loot probably not but it will be guaranteed loot so that's pretty cool um it's it, that that that's more than what it used to be right um that but the 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 big thing that i took away from this is that they actually confirmed that looting chance uh for the higher damaging tiers has been has been in the game for a while even though they just nerfed it in this patch basically making it where the the people who are dealing more damage will get a lower chance at receiving loot they still have made it where if you deal more damage you get better loot so you guys this confirms it so we all know that the more damage you deal the better loot you get so if you guys are super geared with kudums and you know a good clearing pve class you should get to doing world bosses because they've also increased the chance the drop rate of weapon boxes by 50 percent which is a huge amount so <clears throat> that is a very big thing for world bosses but you guys have to keep in mind world bosses and field bosses are two completely different things so for example zaka is a world boss and then red nose is a field boss red nose will not follow these same rules this is only applies to world bosses so really the only world boss that is affected by this from what i can see is nuver for sure because nuver trains are pretty much done now and kudum uh, is not so much affected by it only a little bit but a lot of people do kudum a lot more than nuver because people want kudums now for pve reasons so there's that um they also added the the 30 Takatu seals for a Kudum box exchange thing. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but hey, the option is there. And that's pretty much all of the important stuff that happened in NAEU. Now let's go ahead and go over to the Korean version and, and check out what's happened in the Korean version as of yesterday. And by the way, guys, I, I will leave uh, links for all of this stuff in the description and the comments as usual. The first thing we want to talk about is the data mine that happened for Rand, Rand's Awakening. So there's been a data mine that's been going around. You probably may have seen it if you're interested at all in, in Rand or Leyen, I should say. Um, she pretty much is confirmed to be a dual wielding uh, awakening here. She has some chains attached to it. Um, the chains look kind of weird, but that's because this is a data mine, you know, but this is probably what sh her awakening costume and uh, look is going to look like when we see the trailer. So this is probably the, the look of the trailer or what it's going to be when our awakening comes out. Hopefully, Kakao doesn't take down my video for posting this, but like as if it's not everywhere. <laughs> but anyways, this is what it's going to look like. I'm pretty much guarantee it. We should be getting a trailer anytime soon. So land people just get hyped if you enjoy this. I think it looks pretty dope actually i do like the way her blades look and we i mean we technically don't have a dual wielding class which is kind of weird i mean i guess zerker is dual wielding but it's dual axes so you know it's not the same but yeah we're definitely going to see what it's like and uh looks pretty cool guys uh, i actually am a lot more interested in her awakening than her pre-awakening i will admit that so i wonder what it's going to be like we'll just have to wait and see okay so that wasn't really in the Korean patch notes though. That was a data mine. Now these are the Korean patch notes. The first thing we're gonna talk about is that characters with 271 or more AP uh, based on you know your stats AP has been increased the damage they will do by a certain percentage. This is going to make AP stacking even more of a thing. Even last patch they made it for um 250 and above but now they're include 250 to 270 but now they're even making it even more of a boost past 270 so once again building ap is now a much more viable strategy than hybrid if you want to do damage building ap is the way to do that and it's going to be a big jump for those players who manage to reach the the high 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 ap's which i don't even know how you could do it but 279 280 
12 percent uh look at that 300 ap 334 percent i don't think you're gonna get 300 ap realistically um the highest i've ever seen anyone on the na version have is 276 and that's 7.5 damage increase which is still huge and you got to keep in mind that this increase scales past the original which is crazy 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 i'm not sure if this i'm not sure if this wipes the past and makes it where people who are over 250 don't receive a damage boost anymore that wouldn't make sense i don't see i don't i wouldn't see them doing that i hope that's not the case and it doesn't say anything about that in the patch notes so i'm going to assume that this is adds on to the original boost from the last patch that we went over uh, last week so other than that zerker's got a small buff warriors got a small buff uh, not really much of a buff there um but it's pretty cool um valkyrie got a small buff and just some quality of life things here uh, musa and maywa got a little small buff as well they keep buffing musa and maywa that's pretty cool that's very cool that they're doing that ninja and kunoichi small buff once again just small in incremental buffs they're doing it the right way uh, probably some bug f fixes for lan um and uh yeah that's pretty much it they they've made it where the pearl costume set bonus has been changed so i know a lot of you guys liked where you could swap your your costume so now you can swap and put on whatever costume you want in order to receive the the pearl costume change and the pearl set bonuses so that's pretty cool um also a lot of costumes that were boots and things like like say for example if you had a costume that was like a full one set that included your top your boots your gloves they're all gonna be separated now so that's also very cool it's gonna allow for a lot more mixing and matching and making people uh their own customization and making their themselves you know different so i know i know you, i know the na community really loves customization i think even more so than the korean community and the eu community just because of like how big we are on things like fashion souls and, and dark souls and things like that so it's very cool they also um changed the hp and dp of monsters and valencia combo sale to uh, adjust for the ap dp and values of the new players and um, the buffs that uh, certain classes are getting and they've also made recommended AP for some places there also looks like there's going to be an AP cap on some of these places just like there was in Saucens and uh, just like there was in Media basically there's looks like there's going to be an AP cap in Valencia and some places in Commonwealth soon not sure how I feel about that not sure how you guys feel about that but yeah it looks like that's going to be a thing so yeah and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have to go over. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit me with a like and um, post in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. So follow me on Twitch. LOL Hero Twitch. And yes, yeah, Boy Hero. See you guys next time. Peace.